Welcome to Osondo Specials. Concerned Nigerians have expressed fear that donkeys may go extinct in Nigeria following the sudden increase in its demand. Let's see, TVC News findings reveal that trailer loads of donkeys are moved out of northern Nigeria weekly to the south for consumption and onward exportation of vital parts of the animals to China and other Asian countries. In this special Sunday report, TVC News Suleiman Nasser discovers the trade is a multi millionaire business run by a cartel with international connections. This report is packaged from our studios. The donkey is a domesticated member of the horse family that has been used as a walking animal for more than 5,000 years. There are more than 40 million donkeys in the world, mostly residing in underdeveloped countries. Walking donkeys are often associated with those living below subsistence levels. In Nigeria and other West African countries, donkeys are used in most remote areas as a means of transportation and other support activities by farmers. Donkeys are scarcely found in southern parts of Nigeria, but abound in large quantities in northern Nigeria. In the 70s, 80s and 90s, donkeys were seen in the nook and cranny of northern Nigeria. But today, the trend has changed. Even in some remote villages, donkeys have become a scarce commodity with only a few seen around some villages. Concerned Nigerians say what may be responsible for this is the increase in its consumption and exportation of vital parts to China and other Asian countries for allegedly producing illicit sexual performance enhancement drugs. On a weekly basis, merchants in this donkey business from southern parts of the country meet with their business associates in various local markets scattered across northern Nigeria to buy donkeys for both local consumption and onward exportation of vital parts of the animals. And this has raised concerns among Nigerians that the animal may suffer extinction if this trend continues. Get them on the dangers of what they are doing. They are getting money now, but it will come to extent where they will not get any money because the animals will no more be there. So they have to devise ways and means of improving on the trade, not just getting anything that they have and then selling, selling it off and going back zero. If you feel you can make money out of banking business, remember you are putting your people in, in, in the villages in, in trouble. So it's not only the money you get, but this donkeys will extend completely. And Efforts have been made by the federal government to stop this illicit trade by setting up several committees to check the activities of these traders. Rights groups and members of the civil society organizations working to protect the rights of animals in Nigeria are grossly inadequate to check this troubling trade. Laws, new laws have been promulgated. These laws are already in the National Assembly. And by the time these laws are out, I'm sure we will come to the end of all these menace because there are going to be control measures, there are going to be stiffened penalties for those that are involved. Another challenge the authority may face in fighting this act is the obsolete laws and practice that may not serve as deterrent to offenders. Security agents also need to step up efforts to arrest this ugly trend. You cannot just sit in your offices or in your boardrooms and discuss the, by other stakeholders. For these local traders, donkey business is good business. They have engaged in it for many years, and to them, business is good when customers from southern Nigeria patronize them. It's good to do donkey business for us. We have been engaged in this business. Our father started it and handed it over to us, and this is what we have been doing all this while. We are selling donkey at least 40,000. Some go for 80, some 60, some 70, depending on the customer that comes. It is important to note that donkeys are not food animals. Therefore, its consumption is somewhat prohibited. Experts say through advancements and scientific breakthrough in veterinary medicine, fertility in female donkeys can be improved for production of more donkeys to meet the increase in demands of the animal in the market. But until this is done, 
The fear that donkey may go extinct is real. Experts even argue that the Nigeria local breed of donkeys has gone extinct. They say the few donkeys seen in parts of Nigeria today are the breed from Niger Republic, Burkina Faso, Mali and other neighboring West African countries where some of these traders travel to smuggle donkeys into the country. Analysts are worried that in the next 20 to 30 years, the only place where donkeys will be found in Nigeria may be the zoo. If this trend continues, the coming generation of Nigerians may only hear stories of the donkey. Absolutely a worldwide concern about animal extinction.